To log into EBSCOhost and look at EBSCO Business Source Complete, we're going to click on Online Library Resources, click on Databases, find EBSCO from the list, log in using your St. Leo University login ID and password, and then when you get to this screen, the fourth one down is Business Searching Interface, Business Source Complete. And this is where you can search for information on a specific business and look for their SWOT analysis. I'm going to look for HCA and I'm going to select my field. And since this is a company, I'm going to look for a company entity. I could also search for CEOs, NAICS code, things like that. And I got 1,815 results. There are two pretty interesting articles, number one and number three, on this page. The first one says investors should give HCA time to recover, while the third one says HCA earnings soar on gain. They're two months apart, so it might be interesting to look at those two. And of course, number five says HCA's stock price seesaw can't deter funds. And that's from February of 2012. There are three choices for company information on the left. I'm going to select the first one, HCA Holdings, Inc., without the comma. That's the only difference between the first and the second. And you'll notice here, it gives me the physical address of the company. It gives me their MSA code. It gives me their website and revenue and some financial information, including industry information, subsidiaries of this company, which at this time there are quite a few, employees, So you can get quite a bit of information. Now I'd like to find the HCA Inc. SWOT analysis. And I'm probably not going to be able to find it just by searching for the company entity. So I'm going to go back and do a new search using the button at the top left. And in my search box, I'm going to put HCA SWOT. I don't think I'm going to select a field at this time. I'm going to just move on and hit search and see what I get. My first two results are the SWOT analysis. One for June of 2010, one for October of 2011. I can add these to my folder. And then I can go up to my folder. I can select them by either clicking individually on the checkboxes or clicking on the select all at the top. And then I can email them to myself. I can select what type of citation I would like to use. Perhaps we're going to be using author date, Chicago Turabian or the Harvard business, and then I can click Send. At that point, I can click Back, the Folder Contents Back button, or I can use the Back button on the browser. I can also just open them up here and read them. That would be my other choice. If I open it as a PDF file, I can view it and search it right here on my computer. If I don't know too much about the company I'm researching, I might also want to know some background information, some news about the company, whether or not they're being sued, whether or not there are any issues with their employees or anything like that. So I can also do a search just for the company for news. So I guess I'm going to do it as a company entity. I don't really need to have it from 1976 to 2012, probably from 2006 
forward would be sufficient. And I really would prefer full text, so I'm going to limit it to that. We have 135 results that I can go through. So I can call through these and look for things that are interesting to me and read them. If I want to limit to my, my source types to trade publications, I can do that. Notice that it says SWOT analysis down here too, but we've already looked at their SWOT so we don't really need to use that, but that is another way to get to the SWOT analysis. By limiting it to trade publications, I'm going to get rid of some of my results. In fact, it looks like about 60% of my results went away. And so you can go in through here and and kind of look through each article and decide if any of them are worth looking at for the information you need for your project. If I click on the full text HTML for result number 10, if I need to cite this, again, I can email it and put the citation in my email, or I can use the citation tool, and it will show me an example of what it should look like in Chicago to Arabian for author date also for Harvard or MLA. So this will help you also with the way you cite in your paper. If you prefer to listen to an article rather than read it, some articles inside of EBSCO allow you to have that option. You can click listen and the reading speed that you would like or you can download it as an MP3.